Um, for sure, this the pandemic has affected me. Just because, like, pandemic, I was kind of like a introvert and just kind of like you know doing my thing within my own space. And then, literally, like the beginning before the pandemic hit, I just released an album to get out. And start like we were actually planning like a little tour around Cali. So once that hit, then the the whole like you know shelter in place and everything, and everyone has to quarantine. That kind of just just like flipped me back to like oh, so never mind, <laughs> you know. But I mean, it's been it's been kind of rough to be honest. Um, I kind of like fell into a little depression. I'm not gonna lie, just because like I was so excited. To like share this album, and I'm not an online person. I'm more of a like in person kind of a person. So from from switching to that, now I'm trying to like shift gears and try to be more on social media, which I'm not a social media person either. So it's kind of interesting, but I'm learning, and um, yeah, I just barely learning this Zoom stuff too. So I'm trying to like figure out how to do some live. Music and just kind of keep going, keep pushing, figuring it out. I think it would be cool to like address um, like the creativity aspect of like being a being an artist, but also like being stuck in quarantine. I think um, there's a lot of artists that I know personally that are dealing with a lot right now. There's a lot of people that you know, they, they fell into depression, just kind of like me, but they're kind of stuck in it and they just stop working on music, stuff like that. So I kind of just want to address that and, and tell, you know, my fellow artists, like, it's OK. You know, we're all human. It's OK to be in that in that state. But just push yourself, just just push yourself to get through it, but do it for yourself. Don't don't do it because you feel like you have to post music online now and you have to like you know because i i don't like being online really either i don't like posting all this stuff on instagram and especially when there's so much going on in my personal life so i think um i just want to encourage fellow artists to continue to be creative and express yourself and don't feel like you have to post it don't feel like you know when you're ready you're ready but i just want to kind of just throw that out there and and give an encouragement and say you know it's okay but we are creatives and you have a voice so use it now is the time to really use it and connect with other people so yeah there there's definitely a lot of uncertainty um with uh, shows and stuff but from from create like from a creative standpoint just because like i feel like sometimes there's so much content online there's so many people producing and rap you know what i mean like there's so much and i feel like people are starting to get overstimulated to the point where it's just kind of like a swipe so i feel like the online is a really great tool but i'm still kind of old school when it comes to like i feel like it's more to actually show yourself in in real you know in the real world so in combating that I, I still feel like it's important to, to still get out there in the safest way possible. So what we've been doing is we kind of just been planning little pop up shows and just kind of like I, just on the street. You know what I mean? Just like the old school way, just do a little quick pop up. And the people who are actually like in tune, like, you know, on, on social media, know what you're doing. You just let them know that through. And I feel like. That's kind of a way to, to combat it. If you're not like tech savvy, I think someone, you know, definitely take that into consideration. It's very easy to get comfortable with everything just online. There's a lot of people that are afraid to show their face, but I feel like that's probably the best thing that we could use right now is, is just as an artist, just being present, you know? Yeah, so originally my name was og chucks and i always wanted to connect it with my spirituality so og chucks standed for only god can help us here keep sane and a while back 
um, be working on music late at night. And I actually made a video that was like OG in the AM. And so I was like writing a verse and I recorded myself rapping at like, I think it was like one or two in the morning or something like that. And that kind of like, uh, I was trying to like, I, I it's the old me. And, and from, from what you get to growth, I felt like growing just as an artist, as a person. So I felt like a name change was necessary. And was looking into that, I, I saw, you know what, like, yeah, that's who I am. Like, I, I'm, I'm not, I'm a night owl. I'm always working at, on music at late at night. And that's like the, the time where I'm the most inspired. And, you know, you and I thought you, you just start writing and it's just, it's endless. But um, in, in, in relating that, um, name is also connected to my spirituality. So 1AM, is a, it stands for I am or one almighty, which is God. So that's kind of has a, a double meaning, but um, yeah, it's, it's important <laughs> to me.